That day at uh, my patient's bedside started a journey for me, a journey that I was reluctant uh, to begin, but I felt I needed to, a journey that I thought would result in strengthening my atheism, but to my surprise, resulted in my conversion. How so? Well, first, I had to understand what believers believe, and I had a pretty hard time with that. Uh, there was no Wikipedia to go and read about what are the basic principles of the world religions, and I was quite muddled about what they stood for. I was greatly assisted uh, by a pastor who lived down the road who I went and asked about all this and who gave me a copy of C.S. Lewis's wonderful book, Mere Christianity because here was an Oxford scholar, a prodigiously developed intellect, who had traveled the same path, who had been an atheist, was puzzled by what his friends who were believers were talking about, and set about to disprove them, only to find out that it went the other way, and he ultimately became one of the most strong, compelling Christian voices of the 20th century, and resonates today with anyone who picks up one of his wonderful writings. And so within those pages, I realized for the first time that one can come to belief on a rational basis and that in fact, atheism is probably the least rational of all the choices. The assertion, as Chesterton would say, of a universal negative, which is a difficult thing to do in any circumstances. And that in fact, given the many pointers that one sees around oneself in terms of the universe and it having a beginning, and it's fine-tuning in terms of the way in which all those constants that determine the behavior of matter and energy seem to have been set just in a certain very precise range to make life possible. Uh, and many other things, including my beloved mathematics and why they actually work anyway to describe the universe, something that makes you think the creator must have been a mathematician. All of those things I found compelling, but those lead you in the direction of belief in a creator, a deist sort of God.